One of the reasons most online businesses fail is a lack of planning. It's actually not about the plan you create, but about the planning process. There is so much that you figure out through the planning process, which is going to help you make more successful in a shorter amount of time. But most online business owners do not spend time on planning. They prefer to spend time on chasing the next client or creating another Facebook ad or a graphic in Canva, and they think that's a better investment of the time. Whereas planning will actually make you more successful faster so that you more easily attract ideal clients in spades. So what is the planning process? First, I ask my clients to look 10 years into the future. Now, you're obviously not going to know what your business looks like after 10 years. That's why the 10 year vision is not about your business. It's about what your life is going to look like 10 years from now. And yes, you may not know it, but if you really ask your subconscious, you will be able to write down what kind of life you are looking forward to. Once you know that, you're able to pull it forward and create a vision for your business three years from now. Three years is a good enough time that we know that the world has not dramatically changed. You typically will have a similar business as you have today. And you're able to envision what type of business you would like to have. And three years is a better time than one year because there's actually a lot possible in three years time. You can build a million dollar business in three years, but typically not in one year. There are only few people that have been able to do that. So looking three years into the future is going to help you envision that wonderful business that you're going to have three years from now. Once you have that dialed in, you can take it forward to one year from now. And because you have a vision of where your business is going and where you want to be three years from now, you're able to decide what are the key topics you need to work on in the next 12 months. And I like to plan the year from backwards. I basically look at December, end of the next year, and I work my way backwards on how I'm gonna plan my business. So first I look at how much revenue I want to be making at the end of 12 months. What does that mean in terms of number of spots sold in my online courses or mastermind programs? When do I then going to actually execute these programs? Now, now my programs are mostly 12 months long, but you might have something that's four weeks or six weeks or eight weeks, and you want to work your way backwards. Typically, I want things to end middle of December. People do not like to do things or work necessarily so much on their business during holidays, although it's my favorite time to do something special because everyone else is on holiday. Uh, but you work your way backwards and you want things to end end of December or middle of December. And if your program is six weeks, now obviously it needs to start first of November. And that's the way you're going to work yourself through the whole year then you know when you're going to execute your programs. You know when you actually need to sell it because you need to sell it upfront. Then you also know when you need to promote it. And that's how you're going to be able to plan your business and see what's really doable. Many of my clients have high hopes to sell, let's say, 100 spots for their online course. But when I let them plan it this way, they actually realize that maybe that's not realistic. Maybe they should look at selling 20 spots before they aim for 100. So the planning process is going to have you think through all these things. You're going to have to make some assumptions, especially if you do not have a lot of clients already or you haven't even started your business. But it's still worth going through this process of planning everything. And as you go along, you can refine your assumptions. First, it's just going to be, oh, this is what I think will happen. Once you have gone through several months of your business, you can go back to your plan and you can refine it and make it better. It's all about the planning process and those thinking processes that you go through as you're planning, not actually about the plan itself. I know when I was aiming for $1 million in my business in 2017, I took a flip chart. I wrote on the top of the flip chart, $1 million. I listed all the products that I was planning to sell in my business. I listed how much revenue I was going to make from each product, how many spots I was going to sell. And then I put this flip chart away and I went about my day. I, I went on to sell the programs. And a year later, once I had actually achieved the million dollars, 
I went back to the flip chart and what did I see? I had sold something completely different to a different price, but I had kept my eye on the ball on the revenue number. And what I did in the last three to four months of the year, when I wasn't even close to my number, I had only actually achieved one third of it. Every week I would write down what was my goal, what were the programs that I still had on offer, how many spots did I need to sell, and it happened. So first you need to envision this before you can make it happen, and that's a part of the planning process, and that's why you need to plan to have a successful online business.